that's a street section and the barber reservation is off this way through an assortment of roads and we don't really bother with those because you can find them on Google Street View. So here's the next trailhead through this series of Sherborne forests and it's an active equestrian course so you will run into a horse or two as we just did but I've got my horse etiquette figured out. It's one of the cool things about this trail is that you learn things like horse etiquette. Not the sort of thing a city kid would ordinarily figure out. And the trail will be running through the edge of a fairly elaborate steeplechase course before it once again joins the woods. And there's a guy running a tractor over here. This is a fairly elaborate horse course. People have graciously allowed an easement passage. <coughs> with another indicated turn. New blazing too. Let's see, there's the field. And you follow along this way. So you follow along there, and a turn is indicated. Make sure you stay to the edge of the steeplechase course, as it's, you don't want to annoy the horses. I guess this is where they practice jumping over ditches. It's a pretty elaborate course for a horse. I'm sure they get quite the workout. There's freight running down the railroad line not far away. And 
some interesting jump features. I don't really know anything about equestrian stuff. <coughs> As a dedicated surf, I tend to stay away from these lordly things. Ah, and that is an indicated turn. You just can't readily tell because it needs a bit of trimming. And yo ho, there we go. So forward we go, in search of a blaze. Search for the blaze and you're going to find one. Ah, and there up ahead, we see a well-indicated turn. With a little vernal stream. passage through some fairly elaborate crib stone wall stuff. Cairn or two. And a moment of indicated turns. Mm -hmm. 